everybody, welcome back to the Lennon Stand. I'm Lennon, and I hope we've all been having a fantastic school holiday so far. I hope we can have an even better school holidays after learning a little bit today from the Lennon Stand. We're going to be learning about how fire changes colour. We're going to also be learning how we can change the colours of some mystery liquid using some acids and bases. We're even going to be finding out how we can make this mystery liquid at home. So, for the very first bit of the show, we're going to be playing with fire. Now, I don't recommend doing this at home because we're going to be working with some extremely flammable liquids in here and the last thing that we want is a bit of a wildfire. So, to start off our experiment today, I am going to take our matches and I am going to very first time light our match up, make sure it stays lit as I turn on our Bunsen burner method. Now, in just a moment, I'm going to bring our vials and our squirty bottles up to the fire and we're going to see exactly what happens. But in each of these ones, they all have this very same flammable liquid, methylated spirits, but they all have a very different metal in them. And depending on the metal, we may see something very different. So make sure you keep a very close eye so we don't miss it. So I'm going to make sure I'm nice and safe by putting on my safety goggles, making sure my hair's all the way back out of the way, and I have my safety gloves on. So now that we're nice and safe, we're going to bring our potions over to our fire, and we're going to squirt until we can see a beautiful orange color, almost a bit red from our fire there today. So that's one of them. We'll try it again with our next one. Three, two, one. Oh my god. That's a beautiful red colour. I can even feel the heat from here. Oh. So that is such a vivid red colour. That doesn't look anything like our orange or even our first vibe did. Now we'll try it one last time with our very last squirty bottle. And we have a beautiful green colour. Wowie. Because I think the red one looks the best, we're going to see that one more time real quick. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. So we'll turn this off by turning it the right way. And we're going to ask what just happened. Now, we have each of them being a very different metal in our vials. We're going to create a physical model so we can see exactly what happens. I'm going to take off these glasses because they keep falling off. So I have here our nucleus of our atom that we're going to create and I'm drawing a circle around it so we can see exactly where our electrons live inside our atom as they orbit around our nucleus. And we have another little piece of string for when in just a moment we'll find out. So, what just happened then is we exposed our flammable liquids to our fire as they had tiny little bits of metal inside them. When the metal was excited, the atom itself gained a whole bunch of energy. But the electrons inside of our atom gained all this energy just like when they eat sugar and they moved up to an excited state. So they started bouncing around, dancing, waiting until they lost their energy. That when they lost their energy, they moved back to their ground state. And this energy came off in a way that we can even physically see with our own eyes. It was expended and transformed into visible light. That's why we saw a beautiful red, green, or orange flame. So this is the exact same thing that's happening with when we have fireworks bursting in the sky or simply when we have a bunch of metals exposed into a flame. So, that then solves what was happening then with our metal. So that brings us on to the second part of our show where we'll go and look over at these mystery liquids. So, our mystery liquids are very simple to create and they're made from something almost unexpected. A yummy vegetable called red cabbage. 
Mm -mm -mm. What we did here was we cut up and broke a whole bunch of red cabbage up into a big bowl and we've tipped a bunch of boiling water over the top of them. We'll need an adult to help us out when we're doing this just to make sure we don't burn ourselves with our boiling water. And when the red cabbage begin to dissolve, all the colour was starting to fade from it into the bowl and we were left with a beautiful purple liquid. Now, this liquid has a very, very special property that when we expose it to an acid or a base, something very amazing happens. So we have here two very home hold, household very safe acids, being our vinegar and our bicarb soda. So vinegar is just something that we can put on our fish and chips and make it delicious. And we have our bicarb soda that's usually used in baking to make things fizz up and grow to a beautiful marshmallow. Not really, but it's definitely good in baking. So, watch very closely as I'm going to put our acid, being vinegar, inside one of our cabbage solutions. And we see, oh my god, how beautiful is that? It changed to a beautiful red colour. So we definitely had some chemistry happening there. Now, we'll try with our base being our sodium bicarbonate. And we're going to grab a teaspoon of it, we're going to drop it and gently shake it into our other cup. Oh my god. This time we have a beautiful blue colour. To think that it changed very simply from a purple into a red and a blue, we've definitely had some amazing chemistry happening there. Now, our cabbage solution actually forms something called a pH indicator. We can learn a, bit, a little bit more about what happens with pH indicators on Danny's Simple Science coming Tuesday. I absolutely recommend checking out if you want to find exactly what's happening between these three here. But for my simple rundown, it really is dependent on how acidic or how basic something is. So we had our acid changed our cabbage into red and our base changed our cabbage into blue. I absolutely recommend doing that at home. We can try many different types of chemicals, maybe some even stronger acids, maybe some even stronger bases, but make sure we do that with a trusted adult and with the perfect um, equipment like what I did with my fire using our safety goggles and safety gloves. I hope we've all had a fantastic time learning a little bit about how fire changes colours and how we can change the colour of our cabbage water using an acid and a base. And I hope to see you all around next Saturday for another great show on the bloom and blossoms here at Discovery. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the rest of your school holidays.